Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma ftah alayna hikmataka wa insyur alayna min khaza'ini rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin. Amin. Alright, thank you Afiq. Okay, for 7.2, for subtopic 7.2, um, we have combustion. Okay, and these are the learning outcomes that we should able to gain at the end of the lesson, which is for number one, to conclude the conditions needed for combustion. Okay, what are the conditions needed for combustion? Ada tiga actually kat sini. Okay, and number two, to relate the conditions of combustion with the principle used in the manufacture of fire extinguisher. So we are going to learn about fire extinguisher today. And for number three, to practice safety measures to prevent the occurrence of fire, which can lead to the destruction of life and property. Uh, so kita nak tengoklah uh, kalau dekat rumah, apa safety measures yang kita boleh uh, amalkan untuk prevent, okay? Uh, fires ataupun sekarang dah berlaku dah kebakaran macam mana kita nak stop the fires ataupun kita nak um, selamatkan uh, properties kat dalam rumah tu. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, kita tunjuk yang inilah. Hmm, alright. This one. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so first of all, combustion. Okay, combustion actually is a process. Okay, it's a process. Um, come on, and tadu. Okay, tadu, tadu definition. Okay, actually, it is a process that involving substance to be heated. Okay, maksudnya dia kena melibatkan ada substance yang kita nak bakar dia. Okay. Uh, substance to be heated or in other words we can call it as fuel okay uh, so this matches is our fuel okay and then when it react with presence of oxygen in air so kita tahu composition of air kita dah belajar dah in subtopic 7.1 there is oxygen, okay, in our um, atmosphere. Okay, so oxygen tu, dia punya properties, dia support combustion. Boleh berlaku kebakaran, okay, boleh terbakar. Ada je oxygen, ada je fuels, and also satu lagi, dia kena ada heat. Okay, ha, ni. Heat tadi, function dia untuk panaskan fuel tadi. Okay, ada heat, so it will produce light energy. And also heat energy. So this is a chemical reaction. Awak baru je belajar kan? Physical uh, reaction and also chemical reaction. So yang ni adalah reaction between tiga substance ni. Fuel, oxygen and uh, heat. Okay. So bila ada tiga-tiga condition ni, it will produce a combustion process, combustion reaction. Okay, which is yang kita nampak adalah light energy on and also heat energy. Okay, uh, so these are the condition needed for the combustion process. Mesti ada oxygen, mesti ada heat dan juga mesti ada fuel. Fuel adalah bahan untuk kita bakar. Okay, examples of fuels ni, kalau kita ada wood, boleh. Kalau kita ada petrol, boleh. Uh, LPG. Uh, apa liquefied uh, petrol gas okay. pun boleh terbakar um, papers boleh terbakar semua substance that can be burned tapi ada certain certain substance lah okay. bukan semua substance can be burned only substance that contain carbon element sahaja baru dia boleh terbakar cuba awak bakar cuba awak bakar glass boleh tak awak bakar glass okay. ataupun cuba awak bakar stone uh, boleh tak bakar stone? Tak boleh kan? Uh, so that's because of there is no carbon element in that substance. Okay, so sekiranya ada carbon element saja, Okay, such as uh, wood, paper uh, and also LPG gas. Okay, 
liquefied petroleum gas, uh, petrol, or uh, kerosene, uh, semua yang seangkatan dengan dia tu lah, minyak-minyak semua tu, uh, dia ada carbon elements. Uh, so, itu boleh jadi yang rupanya fuel, bahan untuk bakar. So, by removing one of the conditions needed, so we can prevent combustion. Jadi, awak kena tahu syarat dia, then sekiranya uh, oksigen, kita stopkan supply of oksigen. Uh, kita jadikan ruang tu, uh, tak boleh oksigen untuk masuk. So, when there is no oxygen occur, okay, not presence in the uh, presence of the oxygen, so you cannot burn substance tu. Okay, walaupun it is a flammable substance. Okay, tak cukup syarat, tak boleh berlaku combustion. Ataupun kita tak bagi heat, uh, kita sejukkan benda tu. Kalau kita sejukkan benda tu, kita sejukkan kertas tu, so kertas tu susah nak terbakar. Okay, sebab tak ada heat. Jadi, kena panaskan dulu. Eh, okay, uh, tu adalah... <coughs> uh, syarat yang awak kena tahu so that bila awak tahu the three conditions untuk berlaku combustion kita boleh kawal okay, combustion process tu alright uh, so um, ada activity uh, dan juga eksperimen untuk prove that fuels, oxygen and heat are needed for combustion okay, if you refer to your <coughs> textbook this textbook page Page 205, activity 7.3. Okay, so in this activity, we are going to pro prove that fuel and oxygen and heat are needed for combustion. Okay, for activity 1, they gunakan different materials such as glass rod, other wood, other candle and other stone. Okay, uh, so bila kita lights a Bunsen burner, dan kita letakkan materials tu such as glass rod over the fire by using tongs. So, pegang lah. Okay, kita pegang lah uh, glass rod tu. Guna tongs, penyepit. Okay, kita bakar dia. Okay, kita bakar dia. Agak-agak glass boleh terbakar tak? Observation kita, glass cannot be burned, right? Okay, cannot be burned. Okay. Or do not burn. If you change it to wood, okay, wood, there are the carbon element. Uh, so, as long as materials are ada the carbon elements, so it is suitable to be used as a fuel, boleh dibakar. Okay, so, untuk kita punya observation, awak buat sendiri tak apa eksperimen ni. Uh, so, bila dah uh, ada api, awak ambil sayu, tapi jangan buat aktiviti ni uh, without adult supervision. Okay, so mesti ada mak ayah ataupun kakak abang yang dah dewasa untuk pantau aktiviti awak. Okay, so sekiranya you use a wood and then you burn it using a bunsen burner or any flames, any candles, so it can be burns. Wood will be burns. Okay, dia boleh terbakar sebab dia ada carbon element. Okay, how about candle? Candle also can be burns. Okay, candle sebab the reason is contain carbon element also. Okay, candle ni wax lah. Mana-mana uh, candles je, yang tea light candles ke, yang candles biasa yang putih panjang tu ke, awak cuba, yang ni boleh lah. Tapi jangan main api eh. Uh, yang ni awak cuba lights up using uh, matches, using lighter. So the candle will burn. Okay, candle also will burn. So it shows that If you use materials such as candles, so it will burn. Okay, and then stone, stone, boleh ke tak? Cannot be burned. Okay, stones do not burn. Okay, the observation, stones do not burn because stones does not contain carbon element. Okay, kalau stones ni, they are made up from um, apa, uh, natural natural materials that you can find in the earth so it can does not contain carbon element jadi tak boleh terbakar juga tak boleh jadikan sebagai fuel okay so you need fuels to burn to start a combustion but not all substance can be used as fuels okay examples of fuels here we have wood and also candle okay how about 
Okay, this one, jawablah soalan based on observation. We can classify the materials into fuel and non-fuel. So these are the fuels, wood and candles are fuels, while glass rod and stones are non-fuel because it cannot be burned. So tak boleh jadikan sebagai bahan bakar lah, fuel. Okay, so the conclusion, combustion needs fuel. Walaupun kita dah supply heat from Bunsen burner, let's say Bunsen burner ni sebagai kita punya heat, dan kita dah supply juga oksigen from surrounding environment. Tapi sekiranya tak ada fuse untuk dibakar, so tak boleh berlaku combustion juga. Okay, so that's our conclusion for the activity. Okay, uh, activity number two, oxygen is needed for combustion. Okay, when you uh, make a simple activity like this, you have two similar candle, mesti same size, mesti same type. So kalau nak pakai yang jenis scented, Candle, both use scented candles. Okay, yang mewangi tu. Ataupun sekiranya dua-dua nak pakai tea light candles, dua-dua pakai tea light candles yang yang kecil, yang pendek tu. Uh, so, mesti use a similar candles, same size candles juga. Okay, and then dua-dua ni kita uh, light up lah. Okay, dalam keadaan menyala. Okay, and then eventually satu ni kita letakkan gas jar. Okay. So, bila kita letakkan gas jar yang bertutup, kita invertkan, kita terbalikkan gas jar tu. <coughs> Observation dia. Ha, which one will burn longer? X or Y? Of course lah, yang Y will burn longer. Okay, yang ni dia akan burns for a while and then stops okay dia punya flame tu will be extinguished after a while okay apa reason dia dalam gas jar ni dia dah tutup okay coverage untuk oxygen from insert into the area of the candles Jadi oksigen cannot enter, uh, cannot uh, support the combustion to the candles. Jadi bila there is no oxygen, so no oxygen, jadi bila punya combustion tu so, cannot be proceed. So what gas is used during the burning of candle? Mesti the presence of oxygen. Okay, so the conclusion. We need oxygen for combustion to occur. Okay. Okay, and activity number three, heat is needed for combustion. Okay, the condition is you are going to prepare two types of matchsticks. Okay, manches. Satu matchsticks yang dalam keadaan biasa, room temperature. Satu lagi, matchsticks that has been stored inside a refrigerator. Yang kita dah simpan dalam peti. Okay, especially bila letak dalam freezer dekat atas tu. So, bila kita letak dalam freezer, dalam peti, dalam freezer yang dekat atas tu. Dan kita keluarkan, kita cuba bakar dia. Okay, boleh tak? Okay, so inside the refrigerator, labelkan P. Yang room condition, kita labelkan Q. So, between P matchsticks and Q matchsticks, which one will burn easily? This one is in refrigerator. Yang ni yang room condition. Okay, of course lah yang room condition will burn easily. Uh, do both matchsticks ignite? Yang ni ni, dia tak dapat nak ignite. Do not ignite. Uh, apa reason dia? Refrigerator, kita relate dengan room, um, apa, temperature lower. Uh, so bila dia tak dapat suitable temperature, dia tak dia dah, dia tak dapat nak reach uh, the igni ignition temperature. Okay, uh, the word is ignition temperature. Okay, ignition temperature ni maksud dia temperature yang paling minimum untuk start combustion tu. Jadi sekiranya uh, suhu sejuk, jadi matchsticks tu dia tak reach 
dia tak sampai pun pada ignition temperature. Jadi dia tak dapat nak start combustion. Dia tak terbakar lah. Okay. So itu in the absence of heat. Heat tak ada. Sejuk. Okay. While for the room condition punya matchsticks. So dia dah dalam keadaan uh, room condition kan. Okay. Dalam temperature between 27 to 30 degree Celsius. So the matchsticks have a little of heat. Okay, kalau suhu yang bilik yang lagi panas dia boleh more than 30 degree Celsius. Jadi bila dah ada heat senanglah dia nak reach the ignition temperature. Jadi yang ni easily to catch fires. Okay, so it need heat. Uh, this activity shows that heat is needed for combustion our conclusion okay so based on that three activity uh, the three activity proves that fuel is needed for combustion oxygen also is needed for combustion and heat also is needed for combustion ah uh, ni yang saya sebut tadi ignition temperature Okay, satu yang kita dah basahkan paper cup. Satu lagi paper cup yang dalam keadaan kering. So bila dalam keadaan basah macam ni, dia punya temperature of that paper is cold. Okay, so when it's cold, dia tak reach the ignition temperature. So bila tak reach the ignition temperature, um, the paper cups cannot be burned. Dia kena tunggu kering, kena tunggu suhu biasa dulu, barulah dia ada heat sedikit, barulah the paper cups can be burns. Okay, so itu adalah untuk heat. Okay, untuk factor heat. Alright, next. Why do we use water to extinguish fire? Cuba awak fikir, kenapa kita guna water? Boleh tak kita guna, instead of water, kita nak uh, put out the flip, kita guna... Um, powder, kita guna sand, kita guna what else? Kita guna gas untuk padamkan api. Ha, boleh tak? Kenapa mesti guna water juga? Dah ada jawapan. Okay, because kena ingat yang triangle tadi, number one it need heat, number two it needs oxygen, And number three, it needs fuel kan. Jadi, in terms of heat tadi yang kita alihkan. Okay, kita dah remove heat. Okay, because water keeps the substance to be cooled. Okay, dia sejukkan bahan tu. Okay, uh, fuel tu jadi sejuk. Uh, substance to be burned tu jadi sejuk. Sebab absorb by the uh, water. Uh, jadi, bila heat ni tak ada, oxygen and fuel sahaja yang ada, jadi, combustion cannot be uh, proceed. Okay, uh, jadi tak bolehlah berlaku combustion sebab tu lah kita normally kita gunakan air sahaja. Tapi tak semua boleh gunakan water to extinguish fires. Okay, fire extinguisher. It is a protective tool that is used to put out a fire or handle a small fires. Okay, pernah jumpa fire extinguisher tak? Siapa sekolah dia pernah buat uh, apa um, demonstration, uh, panggil fireman uh, buat demonstration to put off fire betul-betul uh, depan awak sendiri. So, tengok macam mana uh, daripada fire extinguisher tu yang keluar tu uh, jenis apa? Is it water? Is it gas? Or is it powder? Uh, so, itu adalah different types of fire extinguisher. Okay, uh, there are four types of fire extinguisher, okay? Okay, these four types of fire extinguisher. Number one, we have water, okay? Uh, water fire extinguisher. So, maksudnya, it is based on water. Yang uh, bila kita nak uh, apa, put out the fire, It needs to be attached to 
uh, water uh, sauce. Uh, so yang fire hydrant semua tu mesti berdekatan lah supaya can be attached to the fire extinguisher. Dia nak dapatkan bekalan air. So this water uh, fire based the water based of fire extinguisher, it can put out a fire that is caused by solid substance such as wood, cloth and also paper. Okay, uh, so bolehlah menggunakan water based fire extinguisher. Okay, besides water based fire extinguisher, we also have powder. Uh, ni adalah powder fire extinguisher. So, kalau powder fire extinguisher, dia punya uh, apa? materials dia adalah powder. Okay, uh, yang keluar tu memang serbuk lah powder. Okay, second types of fire extinguisher is for the materials that made up from liquid. Okay, such as oil, varnish, also paint. Uh, so, kalau lah materials ni daripada liquid, uh, we should use a foam. Uh, ni adalah yang ketiga. Foam, dry powder. Okay, powder. And also carbon dioxide. Uh, this is gas. Okay, yang menggunakan carbon dioxide based. Okay, and if the materials that cause the fire is made up from gas such as propane gas ke, acetylene gas or methane gas. So we can use foam, okay, foam, yang ni, powder lagi, dry powder, and also carbon dioxide. Okay, and then, yang terakhir, if your materials that made up the fire, is made up from metals such as potassium metals, sodium metals or calcium metals. Jadi, you should use powder, okay, powder-based fire extinguisher and also dry sand, okay, dry sand. Uh, pasti pun boleh digunakan untuk uh, put off the flame, okay. Tapi, uh, kena ingat dalam Tadi yang dalam empat-empat jenis tadi, water fire extinguisher is not suitable to be used when you are having a fire that made up from liquid and also gas. Okay, tak boleh guna water. Kenapa? Kalau lah minyak kan, oil, varnish pun kind of oil, paint also, they do not dissolve in water. Maka bila the tiga-tiga types ni, dia adalah oil-based. Jadi, bila oil and water, water akan denser. Okay, water dekat sini and oil akan floats on top. Jadi, bila water tu masuk je, water terus terus tenggelam ke bawah. Tapi, api tadi akan naik ke atas lagi. Uh, so, tidak uh, suitable to be used when the materials on fire is from liquid such as oil, varnish and paint. So, kena ingatlah awak punya uh, materials that cause the fire. Uh, kena tahu. Jadi, kena choose different types, suitable types of the fire extinguisher. Alright. Okay, last sekali. We have um, techniques to remove the conditions needed for combustion. First of all, if you have fire, you must cut off the contacts of fuel with air or oxygen. Okay, kita kena putuskan dia punya supply air or oxygen. Okay, yang ni cut off, barulah dia tak bersambung tiga-tiga triangle ni, uh, barulah fire tu can be put off. Okay, cut off the contact of fuel with air or oxygen, sama ada kita nak tutup. Okay, kita jangan bagi oxygen pada substance tu, ataupun kita pergi letak terus kita punya dry sand ataupun powder pada substance tadi yang tengah terbakar tadi. So kita gunakan kaedah coverings. Yang kedua kita gunakan kaedah cooling. Okay, kaedah cooling ni kita buang heat. Okay, kita cut off heat. So yang ada hanyalah oxygen and fuel. 
Jadi bila kita coolkan the surface of the burning materials ikutlah awak nak menggunakan kaedah cooling tu dengan kaedah bagi water kat dia ke atau, ataupun kita bagi gas dekat dia ke gas also can uh, cool down the temperature. So bila tak dapat heat tak boleh proceed dengan combustion tu. Okay sebab dia tak cukup tiga syarat. Next reduce amount of burning materials. Okay daripada banyak kan bahan tu dia ada substance to be burned. Ha, so bila ada substance to be burned, dia sedap lah. Dia bakar lagi, dia bakar lagi, dia bakar lagi. Jadi kita reduce the amount, kita alihkan. Okay, kita separate or keep away the burning materials. So yang itu kita alihkan fuel pada dia. Okay, so bila kita cut off fuels, dia hanya ada oxygen and heat sahaja. Tak dapat fuels, dia tak dapat nak proceed dengan further combustion. Okay. Uh, so these are the safety measures to prevent the occurrence of fire. Okay, first of all, this one, uh, kita kena keep matches and lighters in a safe place. Jangan senang-senang ambil je kalau adik-adik kecil lagi letak je depan mata, ada candles, ada matches, ada lighter, uh, senang je dia buat main. Awak dah besar, awak boleh fikir, uh, baik buruk, tapi jangan bagi adik-adik awak dapat senang-senang lah. Okay, simpan tempat yang elok. Okay, uh, number two, keep all flammable substances from fire. Jangan letak direct atas tong gas. Okay, jangan letak bersebelahan dengan um, heat, uh, heat source. So, letakkan di tempat yang selamat. Okay, number three, uh, number three, do not throw away cigarette butts when they are still burning. Okay, masuk je dalam plastik tong sampah. Ada plastik. Plastik also made up from carbon element. So it can be burns. Ataupun dalam tong sampah tu uh, ada kertas. Uh, so sekiranya masih lagi ada heat dekat sini. Ada oxygen in air. Dan ada substance to be burn. Plastik. Uh, maka bolehlah berlaku kebakaran juga. So te cannot. Tengok uh, orang dewasa buang je cigarette buds put puting rokok tu kan. Uh, jadi nasihatkanlah jangan buang masa masih lagi menyala tu. Okay. Jangan. Okay. Number four. Always be aware of your electrical appliances. Okay. Jangan terlampau banyak uh, sambungkan to one plugs only. Dia akan berlaku uh, apa? Uh, short circuit. Okay. Akan berlaku uh, lita pintas. Okay, jadi dia akan cause fires juga ni, electricity. And then, this one also, uh, um, electrical appliances lah ni. Uh, this one is, do not plug in too many electrical appliances to a single electric source. Okay, and this one is, aware of your electrical appliances. So, sekiranya yang tak ada chop serum, yang mana yang brand China, Kena be careful lah. Okay. Uh, sebab dia adalah electric. Uh, bila involving electrics, it can catch fires easily. Okay. Uh, electrical socket fire. Make sure sambungkan pada sambungan yang betul. Okay. Uh, jangan main cucuk je. Tak muat pun cucuk juga. Nanti pun boleh berlaku electric shock juga. Okay. Ni barulah cara yang betul. Tengok dia punya sambungan ni. And last kali, to install fire alarm and smoke detector at home. Okay, kalau boleh, uh, letaklah smoke detector sekiranya berlaku kebakaran, dia terus akan keluar uh, apa? water to prevent fires. Ataupun berlaku uh, fire, akan keluar fire alarm. 